Hello, Scorpio. I'm for some reason I'm excited about your reading. I don't know why, but I just pulled out. I kind of pulled the all the names out of a hat, out of a little my little tarot box, and so I know which sign I'm doing next. I saw Scorpio. I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. So, this is your fortnightly reading for March the first through to the fifteenth. Now I'm doing. I just do a usual spiel. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Parts of it may resonate. Parts of it won't. Just take what works for you and what resonates with you. So we're doing Celtic Cross today. I just wanted to do something a bit different. It was just the mood I'm in. I usually follow my intuition. So as a general energy, you have that five of swords energy around you, which is I think you've won. You've won an argument, but or someone has won an argument, but at what cost? There's a little bit of pettiness here, I have to say, Scorpio. A bit of pettiness might be, uh, you know, a few words and a one-upmanship happening here with this Five of Swords energy. But let's see what's crossing it and we'll see. We'll get some clarifiers as well. Okay. Let me move that down there. Scorpio, where are we going with this? What's crossing Scorpio? I want this card. Okay, the four of swords, two swords. So it's all a lot to do with like um, sort of a battle, a mental battle with someone because you can see with this four of swords, you know, they're resting and there's been some sort of resolution. Someone has kind of got a one-up and it's like I just need a break from this. I need a break. And so, yeah, it's just you need a break from that pettiness, whatever that is, because that's not you, Scorpio. That is not you. I mean, I know that you've got a good way with words and you could probably beat anybody in that sort of one one on one debate or a wittiness or whatever it is. But let's see what's happening. Why are you being triggered? What's happening on the surface? Let's see what's crowning you. What's crowning Scorpio? Yeah, again, the Ace of Swords coming up. Yeah, I feel like you being a bit sharp with someone only because you're moving into a new mental space here. Sorry, all my dogs are barking like crazy. Yeah, I feel like you've had some sort of mental clarity and suddenly someone's really irritating you. <laughs> someone's really irritating you and it's like, okay, now that I've realised that, I just, yeah, you kind of like need a break from that person. So what else can we get for there's a real been a real breakthrough or a realization or a shift in mindset and it's just like, yeah, okay, what's happening deep down for my Scorpios? Ah, the three of pentacles. Oh, we've finally moved out of the swords. We're on to the pentacles and, yes, we have a three of pentacles. You're just wanting to do the job properly, Scorpio, and you feel like that other there's people that are not doing their job as well as you. You're trying to push something towards success. You're working towards success here, and if people are not pulling their weight or doing as good a job as you think they are, you're going to let them know. <laughs> you're going to let them know in a big way, and you've got no to zero tolerance for that. Okay, so you're working towards something you could definitely be the leader here or in charge of a situation. This three of pentacles is about making something beautiful. It's about recognition for work and it's about working together as a team. But you can see one of the figures is above the others and it might be elevated in terms of intellect or in terms of uh, authority within a workplace or a home place, wherever this space is. And so I feel like you're just... Yeah, I feel like that's you. So, yeah, just taking no prisoners this fortnight, Scorpio. But there, yeah, it's just okay. Let's we'll clarify that five of swords. Yeah, in the recent past, the page of swords again that makes a lot of sense. Again, we're on the swords. The page of swords is just someone, and I feel like this is the person you're dealing with who's just a bit childish and immature. They kind of think they're great but they're not they're just 
they they don't know who they're playing with. <laughs> Basically, they might be playing a game and they're just kind of like the page versus the king of swords, which I feel like you are. And it's just kind of like, don't even bother playing that game with a Scorpio. You're going to get crushed. So that little page, whether it's a child who's just been mucking up or someone, one of your employees or someone around you that's just been like not taking things as ser very seriously, is kind of the energy we're getting with this page of swords. And you're like, I am taking things seriously. This is my life. This is, I want, to, want this to succeed. I want this to work. I want this to be the best that it can be. And you're not, you're not. And that's not good enough. And so, yes, you're definitely going to get irritated with them and let them know. Okay, let's look at the near future. Ah, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're definitely building towards something here. It's slow. It's slow and steady. You know, you're looking long term here with this knight. And this is why I think that page of swords energy might just be getting a little bit restless because you're seeing the bigger picture, the long term picture here. And they're just childish and kind of because things aren't moving as fast or they might not be seeing the results as quickly as they want in their childish little head, whatever that is, then, you know, but this is you. You've got your eye on the prize. You're very much grounded and determined with what you, it is that you want to achieve. So let's have a look at you in this situation with this five of swords. I think we've got a pretty clear idea of what, what's going on here. Yeah, this is nine of wands here. Yeah, this is definitely, you know, you've had enough. You've been fighting and battling with this person or battling with wanting to say something to this person maybe. Whatever it is, you've been quite wary. If These are all the ones that have the, bat the arguments that may or – Whatever it is, there's conflict here. That's There's been a history of conflict in this relationship and you're kind of battle weary. It, it's like you're almost, yeah, that's enough now. That's enough now. But the nine of wands energy is also very much like that's over. Those battles have been fought and won and there's going to be no more. Energy surrounding you, another page, a page of cups. And this person you might turn around if you, once you reprimand them or kind of give them a bit of a wrap over their knuckles or whatever it is that you say to them, they're kind of going to come back to you and go, oh, but I didn't mean it. Please give me a second chance. Oh, but I do love you. Or I really like working here. Or I'm really sorry. And they are, there's an apology here with this page of cups energy coming through. So I just feel they've been a little bit silly. They're just a bit immature. But I feel like that Page of Cups energy is probably a pretty genuine apology, whether it is something that sustains long-term, because I feel like they don't have, they're not in committed to the long-term vision of whatever it is that you're building and working towards. Hopes and fears, Scorpio. Ah, yes, the sun. You want clarity, you want happiness, you want success. You want everything to be, everyone to be on the same page and you don't want any of this silly little niggly crap. So I think that, and interestingly, you know, this sun energy has the child that breaks through on the white unicorn. So maybe you're actually hoping that this person finally does grow up and, and break through to the other side break whatever it is that's blocking them because I feel like there's a real block to them taking anything seriously or committing to something and that's what's annoying you about them. So, yeah, you're kind of hoping for that. So we'll see. I think, you know, maybe this person deserves a second chance. I don't think it's it's more like they get a bit of a telling off it's not like they're completely out, you're out and you're not getting, you're not coming back. So let's look at the outcome here, Scorpio. Yeah, here you are. I said you were the king of swords and here you are. No messing with you. Exactly. You are reclaiming your territory, reclaiming your domain, very determined and clear. Nothing is going to get in your way of what it is that you're trying to create in this world here, Scorpio. So that page of swords and that page energy, 
like I said, they've got nothing against this King of Swords energy. So I think you're going to regain control of the situation, which is good. Shall we get some clarifiers? <laughs> and you're going to feel powerful. And you're going to sort things out, sort the, the, the winners from the losers was what I was being told in my head. Okay, let's look at this Five of Swords energy. And we have this Queen of Wands. This could be around a Leo or a fire sign energy. Yep. I feel like you know what? I feel like they admire you. This is what I'm getting. I feel like you're actually the Queen of Wands now when I look at it and I feel like this is the little page here. Again, you're the you're the king and the queen and they're just like this small figure here. They're the ones causing these petty quarrels and you're sitting on your throne manifesting things, making things happen and they're just they're trying to kind of bait you and get at you and part of it is to break down a barrier with you. Part of it is because you seem so unattainable to them and so they childishly think the only way to get closer to you is to fight and squabble to get either your attention or to break down, yeah, like I said, some sort of barrier. So they really, really look up to you. They really do, despite the fact that they're being really annoying. And so the energy crossing you. Yeah, look, you'll get your wish when it comes to taking a break. This person's going to settle down, which is good. So with that, the star card wish is coming true there. With the Page of Swords, let's get a clarifier for the Page of Swords. Yeah, look, I think what ultimately what they want more than anything is recognition and perhaps your recognition. And maybe actually the other thing they could have been doing to kind of get your attention is sabotaging success. So the, I'm just getting that as a behaviour. I, I feel like this is someone sabotaging success or bitching about the success of a project or the ability for something to work. It's just someone undermining or destabilising a situation that you are trying to make very successful. Okay, Ace of Swords. Yeah, justice, beautiful. Here you go. The justice holds... This is Libra, beautiful Libra energy, bringing things into balance again. Justice holds the Ace of Swords firmly in her hands or his hands, however you want to look at it. It's fairly um, ambivalent looking figure, androgynous, I should probably say. And um, yeah, you're definitely wielding, bringing everything into balance this could be around contracts as well, like legalities. You could be over looking at someone's contract. Maybe they're st overstepping the mark. There's a sense that the law is on your side or some sort of yeah legality is on your side and you can wield this and use this. Put it in their face and say, you're not on the contract or this isn't in your contract and I have the ability to get rid of you. <laughs> Whatever it is, and that contract might actually be, you know, if we're talking about a relationship where just the other partner's being really immature for whatever reason, you can be like, I didn't sign up for this. I didn't sign up for this. This is not in my life contract. It's not in my partnership contract. So I feel like there's been a breach of contract and you just kind of, yeah, waving it in their face. The Three of Pentacles, clarified by the devil. Yeah, there's, there's people that are, it's the people that are not feeling like they're being recognised. They're the ones being, they're lurking in their, I'm feeling like I'm getting this sense of <sighs> sort of unresolved anger or resentment happening here. A really bad attitude from someone that's feeling like they're not being recognized here 
So this devil card is, it could be a Capricorn, obviously it's a Capricorn card, but it's that sense of it's murky energy. It's murky energy. So I think I think it's bringing up I, I'm trying to I'm trying to describe this energy that I'm feeling, but it, it's not making you feel good deep down on a subconscious level. You kind of want everything to be balanced and on paper and everybody happy, and you don't want a destabilizing element in your midst, and it's causing you to feel unstable deep down as well. Maybe on a subconscious level, it's or something unknown, it's triggering something like a fear. So you could feel quite unsettled around this energy. Could be feeling quite unsettled. But I don't feel like there's actually anything to worry about, Scorpio. I think it's just triggering something from the past or deep down that some may, maybe someone's hurt you before or done something to you before. And so it's kind of, I feel like it's a real deep response that you have no control over. And you might not even know exactly what it is. It's just a feeling of feeling unsettled or off. Okay, near future, Knight of Pentacles. One of the chooks have just had an egg. Yep, here you go. Stepping back into your independence and power. Again, financial independence here with this Nine of Pentacles. Feeling pretty happy with what you have made in terms of business and money, stability in your life, you're regaining stability again. So I think you're going to be feeling a lot happy about how the direction is, uh, where the direction, where this Knight of Pentacles is heading. And I feel like you've released from that toxic energy because this Nine of Pentacles is happy kind of being on their own for a while, happy being in their own space. They've got a very clear boundary around them, so they're happy in their own energy. So happy just kind of with your own vision of moving forward. This is your thing, Scorpio, that you're trying to make in the world. You don't need that um, kind of toxic energy around you. Okay, let's clarify the nine of wands. Yeah, you've got the two of cups. There's a real miscommunication between the two of you. I feel like there's a lot happening that's unspoken between you and this other energy or person. And there's a not wanting to bring it up and say what needs to be said, which is causing some of the kind of feelings of murkiness. But I think that you will. But there's avoidance here of an issue and it might actually be the other person or it might just be you know that you're going to hurt the other person but ultimately I think you're going to do what's right here. So that doesn't feel right as a clarifier for the Page of Cups. Energy surrounding you. So, yeah, I feel like you'll get an apology, this Page of Cups energy. But, yeah, Queen of Pentacles, you know, back to the stability. This is Capricorn card. Back to feeling like, you know, you can finally not have your energy elsewhere, that you can finally bring your energy in and nurture yourself or nurture what your finances, nurture your house, nurture the things that you want to be spending your energy on, not something that you don't want to be like a quarrelsome toxic energy that you don't want to be spending a lot of energy in so you're reclaiming that space for you which is great the sun card clarifier for the sun the hierophant yeah you just want everything kind of on board and where it's supposed to be you don't you want everyone to be you, – you like the status quo. You want the status quo to remain as is. You don't like this destabilizing factor. And so I think you're going to just bring everything back into a, 
a much more conservative line, a finer line where it's, it's, yeah, it's working. It's working how you want it to work. Okay, let's clarify the King of Swords for you. Ah, the Empress. Well, there you go, Scorpio. It's going to be so worth it to do this. It's a little bit of cleaning out for you to kind of get rid of this toxic energy that's around you and just say what needs to be said. But it is going to lead to success and abundance and manifesting what it is that you want in the world and feeling like, again, you're the empress. You're definitely sitting on your throne. You've got the, so many throne cards as you, the queen of pentacles. Uh, we have the king of swords, the justice and the hierophant. It's taking back control, but this time it's about the king of swords is very much, you know, mentally in charge, the person that's making a lot of the decisions here. But the Empress is making sure that things, I feel like there's an expansion in terms of success coming. So, and fertility is a very fertile card. So there's a lot, I think you're going to start seeing some bigger and bigger rewards for all the efforts you've put in. So it's really positive, Scorpio. I think it's a really great reading for you guys. I'm going to pull one last card as a message from the universe because we haven't even touched these animal spirit cards this week. But one last card. What is it going to be? Little froggy. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's like a, that downward pointing triangle at the top there is a water sign, which is your element, Scorpio. Oh, you're just going to feel so good. There's healing coming after this. That's just this sense of the rain is coming down. Finally, I'm getting what I need. So... Beautiful energy with little froggy coming in. There's replenishment, there's healing, there's, okay, I feel free of that now. So beautiful energy. Oh, throwing froggy away. I hope that makes sense, Scorpio. If you'd like to hear more, please like, subscribe or leave a comment. I usually like to respond to comments and I'll see you next time. Bye.